Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install non-ELS police vehicles or normal vehicles into your GTA 5. As I just said, this is pretty much all non-ELS vehicles, and that counts for if you're installing some supercar mods or some normal traffic car mods. It's pretty much the exact same way for any non-ELS cars. That's meaning that it doesn't have the emergency lighting system pack, which most cars do, but a lot of them don't as well, so it is quite useful to know how to do this too. So to install this, what you guys want to do is find yourself a non-ELS pack, whether it be police or not. If you want to, you can also download this one. I'll leave that down in the description below. But you don't have to, you can still follow along. But to install this, what you guys want to do is click to download this file on whatever one you're downloading. Click here to speed it up a little bit. And wait for it to finish downloading. Okay, so once that is done downloading, what you guys are going to want to do is open up your OpenIV, just as you usually would. Navigate to your Windows and let it start up. And then what you guys are going to want to do is go to your tools in ASI manager and make sure all your ASI tools are installed. Also, we can head into edit mode. So now we are ready to install them. Head over to your download file and find the vehicle files that you want to install first. If you are using this pack in particular, I'm going to go in chronological order. But as I said, you can install any one you want. If you don't want to install them all, you don't need to. But you are going to want to find your vehicle files, which look a little bit like this. You can have an additional file which will have, it'll just be four files. It doesn't really make much of a difference. You can either have three or four, but it'll still work the exact same way. So to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is navigate to a folder where we can put the vehicles into. So to do this, go to your mods folder, and then go to update, then it'll go to x64 and then DLC packs, and then find the latest patch day available to you. So for me, I'm just going to go with this one right here and then go into dlc.rpf and then go into x64, levels, GTA 5, and then vehicles.rpf. Within here, what you guys are gonna to wanna to do, make sure you're in edit mode again, grab all these files right here and simply drag and drop them into your game. Now there is a little rule with this, as long as they are already named something that it can replace, then it should work. If they are not, then it will not replace a vehicle in the game since it does not exist. So if you are installing a police vehicle, you can have uh, so many police names so it is police all the way up to police four. Then you can have FBI up to FBI two. You can have Pranger, Sheriff, and you can also have your emergency vehicles like the riot vehicles, the fire and ambulance. When it comes to your normal GTA 5 vehicles, we are looking to replace those. There's a big, big list of those. I can't really name them off the top of my head. And I probably have missed some of the emergency ones. And there is a few websites that do show you what they are. So I will look for that and I will leave it down in the description below. If you are unsure what vehicles you do, you do need to rename them to or if they are already renamed, so you can check that website to make sure that they are going to work. But moving on to the next file, we can just stay in this director and open IV and move on to your next files for your vehicle. So the next one is going to be this one right here and then go to model and do the exact same thing. Drag and drop them into your game. And then for the last one here. Do the exact same thing and we'll drag and drop them into the game as you can see here this one does have an additional file this has a plus high dot ytd some do some don't if it doesn't then it doesn't really matter but if you do replace a a vehicle file that does not have this and it did previously have it you do want to delete the previous one since it will mess up with the model so keep that in mind but otherwise than that it should be fine just drag and drop that into your game like so and for this download, you do have an additional file right here. It does normally tell you how to install them in the README, but to install the Caravations meta, it's pretty simple. All you guys are going to want to do to find this is go back to your mods folder. Also, if you guys don't have a mods folder and you have just commented down below, you don't have a mods folder, make sure you guys click in the top right hand corner of the screen on the info button and watch my video on how to create a mods folder. It's really useful and you definitely need it. It's essential for modding GTA 5. But to carry on with this, what you guys are going to want to do is go to update then go to x64 and then go to dlc packs and then go to your mp heist folder which should be somewhere here which is this guy right here and then go to dlc.rpf and then common and data and then we're going to simply want to find the caravations meta so you guys can see it is right here to install this what you guys are going to do is really easily just drag and drop it in just like we did with all the other previous files you guys should see it will go from compressed encrypted to compressed and that's how you know you've changed it if you do want to revert back to the gta 5 standard file 
All you guys have got to do is go to the exact same GTA 5 main directory, minus your mods folder, and copy and paste it back into your mods folder. And there you go, you revert it back to the standard files if something does go wrong. But other than that, that is the vehicles done. I'm going to hop in game and just show you guys how to spawn them in the trainer. But it's pretty basic. The name of the vehicle and the trainer will be the name of the vehicle before all the file types. So for this, it'll be police three. And then for the other ones, it'll be police two and police one and police four and etc. So I'll hop in game and show you guys how to spawn them in. Okay, so once you guys are spawned in game, all you guys are going to want to do to check if it's worked is open up whatever trainer you guys have installed. For me, that simple trainer. And then what you guys are going to want to do is go to vehicle spawning. Go to whatever slot that your vehicle file was installed in, or you can just search it. For me, I know that one of them was under Police Cruiser 2. So what you guys are going to want to do is just spawn that in. You guys should see that successfully the vehicle that we installed earlier in the game has successfully replaced with the previous default vehicle. So if you guys did find this video useful and did work for you, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell to make sure you guys are getting notified for all my future tutorials and LSVFR content coming very, very soon. And then that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.